Welcome to Mama Bella's Kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to cook lupini. Lupini is a snack. And the Italian, especially the north part, the south part of Italy, uses this a lot. Um, as far as I know, this was used, it's a dry bean. Um, it was used in um, the bars where, play, where guys would go and play cards. And this was like a snack for them too. But I remember my mother and other people too doing this at home. And it goes back many, many years. I mean, as long as I remember, we always had lupini. Uh, my children grew up with having lupini too, but most of the time um, that we have the lupini is um, if the family gets together and plays cards, then we put the snack on the table. Uh, and the holidays, Christmas, um, New Year's, Easter, Thanksgiving, whatever it is, our holiday, we always have um, lupini at the end of the meal, uh, after our dessert, believe it or not. So I'll tell you about the lupini. They come dry. This is some of you buy them at the store. We bought this by the pound, and we bought this in the bag already. And if I'm not mistaken, this were bought here in California, and this we bought it when we went to visit in Connecticut. Now, the one that comes in a pretty package like this, for 500 uh, grams, it costs $3.99. The same amount, by the pound, they put you in a bag, not a fancy bag, just a regular bag, it's $1.99. So, you choose whatever you want or whatever you can find. They're not easily found, but if you go um, in the Italian section, or Italian store, you may find. If not, you could ask them to see what you get. So, but it does take a little step. So, so in San Francisco, they they sell those at Molinati's uh, grocery store in North Beach. And I think in San Jose too. So I'll put this aside. So this is what we do. But this is one of those packages. One of this or this. We put it in a bowl and we cover it up about maybe three inches or four inches above the, the lupini beans when they're dry with water. Can you mix your hand in there just so we can see yeah. how deep it is? So it's done. Okay. Okay, now this is done. You have to uh, let it soak at least 12 hours, if not even more, even up to 12 hours, especially when the weather is cool. Now look at this lupini, come close. See how they plump up? They're so much bigger from dry to soaked overnight or 18 to 24 hours. Put them, can you put them in your same hand in the same hand? Sure. See, this okay. is small, flat, this is bigger and plump. Okay. That's how they should be. But we're not done yet. So when you soak, it's soaked to the amount of time that it has to be like this. And when you start, you start with cold water. Then when you're ready to cook them, you drain the water out from the lupini. So how long did you soak them for? Uh, if the weather is warm, it is, but I said no less than 12 hours, but if you see that there's a little wrinkle, not as plump, then you let them soak a little bit more. Just put them aside, you know. They don't take any time from you. So you drain this like this. I dropped a few in there. And then what you do, you put it in a pot. Now this year, I'm going to, because they're not ready to eat, this, these are bitter now and they're bitter after I cook them because there are several steps after a while. So they're not edible yet. Not edible yet. So, but this year I'm gonna try something different. Uh, I'm gonna add a couple freshly picked rosemary springs. I'm experimenting because I like to do that. And my husband does not mind at all when I experiment. He never complains. So I put the lupini in. How much of the time would you say you experiment versus just following the same recipe? Uh, 50%? No, more like 90%. 90% of the time you experiment. <laughs> experiment. <laughs> and that's how you develop I, uh, the expertise, right? Because you know what works and what doesn't well, work? I add some, yeah, and you, you discover new flavors by doing that. 
And some things I keep the old way because um, the old flavor is better. So I add one tablespoon of table salt. And I cover this, if you come to me, I, come, I cover this with uh, cold water until they're totally covered. And they're about a couple inches, I would say over. The top of the lupini. So up to now, you just soak them, you put them outside, you don't have to do anything, then you rinse them out, you put them in the pot. I'll let you know how it comes out with the, with the flavor of the rosemary. You put the salt in, you cover with the lid, and you put it on the, on, on the stove where it comes to a boil. Then I lower it down a little bit because I don't want it to boil over. And it takes about, not very long, about 15 to 20 minutes to boil them. Okay, now I'll put it on the stove. Okay, now I'm checking the lupini beans. They, uh, they've been boiling for uh, 20 minutes. Let's see, you see them. So I'm gonna turn it off. Do they float when they're done boiling? Yes. Is that how you know when to take them out? No, or? just to let it do for 15-20 uh, minutes. So I'm going to take this out, bring it to the sink, and strain it. At this point, they are bitter. They're not edible at all. So what I do is I rinse them out to get them cooler, cool down rather, and then So I you cool them off with tap water? Cool them with tap water, yeah. Okay. Then I put them back in here, and I cover it up with, the, you could put them in um, another bowl. I'm going to use this. And now, this is what's going to happen. They're going to be covered with water. The more water there is in the container with the lupina, the faster they're going to be... Uh, the edible? Bitterness, they're going to be edible. The bitterness in them is going to come off. And the more you change them, change the water rather, you you're, um, speed up the, the time to get sweet and edible. So essentially what you're doing is you're putting the water in mm -hmm. to extract the bitter, the bitter flavor. Yeah. And... Um, I just soak in them. And so you're just moving the bitterness from the, the lupini to the water and yes. you change it to... Doing that. And so, and this, if you change this, um, see, sorry, excuse my fingers. If you change this, you could put this a bigger pot. I have a small pot. A bigger pot with water, it takes a lot less. Um, if you change this about four times, maybe even six times a day from the morning till night, this should be ready within uh, three days. Now, my husband likes a little bit um, on the bitter side. Some people don't like that. So if you don't like that, just add, you know, extend the days and change the water again. After they're done, we like them just like this. We just uh, um, pop them. Oh, excuse me. And this is how you do. So you pop the skin. Okay, let me get in close Actually, here. Actually, we go between our teeth. But this is what you pop the... We have mastered this between our teeth. You pop the skin off, and this is what you eat. Now, some people, they eat this too because it's fiber. It's fine too. But we eat just the inside. And that's the end of the lupini. Now, some people, they like to put oregano on top. Some they like to put... Um, so you put it in the mason jars after this, right? Or do you keep it in the pot and do you switch the, switch the water switch the well, water in the pot? Okay, that's a good point you brought it up. It's a very good point. If you're going to have a lot of people and you think that this is going to be gone you know, in one holiday, then you don't have to put them in jars. You just do the changing. You prepare this about a week earlier. 
um, so you have the time. And if you want to keep them for two or three months, you have to put them in jars at this stage, once they cool down. You fill them up with the water, you put them in the fridge, and they stay two or three months. And then what you do is you rinse them out, the water, a couple of days after then it's ready. Otherwise, they, they will go bad. Okay. Okay, so that's done for that. I hope I explained it well. And what are you going to do with these? Well, this we're going to... They're not going to be ready for tomorrow. So they're going to... We have for Thanksgiving? Yeah, but well, we have some in the jar. But this, be, if I put them in the jar, they'll be ready for... Uh, we'll use them for Christmas time. Okay. There's so many ways you could play with the time. So you put... I put the lid back on again. And this is... Uh, this is Calabresa Lupino. Pini di Calabrese. Calabrese.